All right, let's dive into it. So this deck, like many of the decks that we play here on this channel, is a viewer submission. If you are would like a great way to support my content while also getting a little bit of something out of it for yourself, you can submit a deck by following the instructions on my website for just $10 if you're a sub to the channel. This deck is built around the idea of playing out some fat monsters like Shipwreck Quarter, as well as Devourer of the Depths, and then pairing it with the KDA card, Go Get It, to recall those and give us a zero cost thing to play back out. Now, notably, Go Get It is really good with Shipwreck Quarter because this is a summon effect, so we get the toss and two more treasures when we go get this. Devourer of the Depths is a play trigger, so we don't get two more obliterates when we go get this, but just getting more obliterates in general is still good. Now, the big thing you lose by giving up Shadow Isles in the Deep archetype is a lot of that life gain that helps you stabilize the board in the mid to late game. Thankfully, um, Ionia has some life gain to make up for that. So we've got Tasty Fey Folk, as well as some copies of Spirit Refuge here as a way to stabilize our life total against the more aggressive decks. We've got some Concussive Palm for some interaction, and then a cheeky top end card that's also good with Go Get It is Mina. The rest of the deck is the pretty typical kind of deep stuff. We've got Dredge Dredgers, Jettison, some Salvage, some Slaughter Docks, and then I've got some other cards like Hired Gun and Box to Push here to kind of fill out our curve in the early game so that way we don't get run down nearly as often. Let's go ahead and dive on into some games here with this and see if this seems reasonable or not. Sarah Haven with the brand new Prime support while we were in the deck tech. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for shipping your Bezo Bucks this way this month. Third, thanks for the follow. All right, and we're going to start with an aggro matchup right away here. So we've got Draven Jinx. Um, honestly, these cards seem great. Go get it is not something we want until much later. One thing that's no notable in the way this deck is built is that Zap Sprayfin always gets us jettison so zaps a cheap blocker that always tosses four for us which is sweet so all of all of our other spells other than jettison cost four plus so this is always getting us that well those cards are shadow isles call me so we can't play those Thren. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, New Year, all that jazz. Thanks for the sub gifties. Good morning. So this is Draven Jinx, which is likely the discard aggro archetype. It's been a little while since we've been on the Bilgewater board. Forgot how. Forgot how jamming this tune these tunes are. Yes, yeah, this is basically a four mana this think of think of Zap in this deck as a four mana two two elusive that tosses four. Is the best the best way to think about him. I love I love the designs like this in Rune Terra are some of my favorite, where this card could be random based on its wording, but you're also given the ability to construct your deck in a way to remove all the variants from it. Looks like our opponent might be disconnected here, unfortunately. Who's on top of the bounty board today? That's true. It's like a toss five in a way because it draws the jettison. Someone told you that Zap could get reworked because of guard. That would make me really sad. I think if they adjusted Zap instead of Gohard, that would be a pretty big miss. Partially disconnected. That happens sometimes. Real life pops up. Your doorbell rings, your pizza finishes, your child unplugs your router. Christy. Christy had mistakenly plugged our modem into an outlet that was attached to it to a light switch upstairs. And Jacob, Jacob hit the switch during one of my streams at one point. We we promptly fixed that after the fact. Yeah, Babbling, Babbling Berg and Dragon's Clutches are two of my favorite designs. Fiora Ash, eh? 
Yeah, I, I agree. I think Riot's better at balancing their game than that. This card's great, but not till much later, I don't think. I guess this kills Fiora and Ash as is. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this, actually. We have two, three, four. And this this has the base stat line, sounds fine. Yeah, the conditional tutor is basically letting you pick pick your threshold for appropriate variants is great. <laughs> Stuff make happy, chat. Do do do. Nothing escapes my watch. They would fall by my blade. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Lacey Jar. Yeah, for my regulars, I'm going to be doing a little bit more Rune Terror than I have been moving forward. The three to four decks we've been playing each day are going to become the norm rather than the exception. I'm still going to be doing some variety stuff because I enjoy playing the variety games we've been playing, but it's going to be built less into my schedule. It will be more, more flexible as time permits. This is what I'm feeling like on day to day. Deal. I don't think I want to trade for anything here. Faster than my arrow? I think not. We are unfortunately one turn off of getting to do this. I think I fate folk just to have another decent blocker here. Could have a brittle steel or a flash freeze here to keep ash alive wouldn't surprise me too much wait so if i if i go get this my concussive palm will cost zero right and i can stun the fiora is that how that works Look at the eye will show me. Yeah, it is. Oh, I can't cast two fast spells. That's sad. Good call. I think, I think we just let this happen. Because if I, if I do this, the copy's an exact copy, so Ash still eats it. No, it, it doesn't kill the Ash, because it summons an exact copy. I think, I think we just say okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this and then say okay. So that way we can pass back. No, this is this card is explicitly not good against Frostbites, Chat. All in. Well, the good news is we're gonna be deep on turn seven here. I'm gonna open on this attack, I think. Twitch chat. We have we all have the same idea in rapid succession. Unfortunately, we're all wrong. <laughs> Big mood. Big mood. <laughs> this is why we hooked the Ash rather than the Fiora here. All right. So I think we jettison here. And then we're going to pass to them. Because I want to be able to have Spirit's Refuge plus Devourer next turn. Maybe that's wrong. Do I need Spirit's Refuge with this? Maybe we just Tasty Fate Folk. Is there, is there an upside to holding this up next turn? 
Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. There's single single combat. Yeah, okay. See if they open attacks here or not. Yes, that's true. Putting this on the board doesn't really do anything meaningful at the moment. Show me a target. Safeguard our homes. Oh god. They could have repost and single combat. Yeah, that's a good thought. Having a barrier to stop that seems good. Can't block, so we use skip. I think we want to prioritize killing Fiore here so we don't get oops killed by some combat tricks. He's a hungry boy, chat. Your move. Okay. <sighs> oh, I have two juice box emotes. Need to fix that. They have another single combat. That's pretty frustrating. There's two of them in ten cards. We just tossed a Concussive Palm, which I think was the best draw in our deck to keep this from winning the game next turn. I have two redraws at it, but this, uh, this getting hooked is uh, real bad news for us. Barrier also does it. Always feels like I'm one turn late against the Ash, the Ash alt win condition. Feels bad, man. It's a shame. It's a shame that their entry drew Fiora and not a second Ash. Would have been much better for us there. I think Fiora's... The fact that Fiora doesn't have built-in protection means she's very different from Lee Sin, but in terms of competitiveness, Fiora is way more competitive than Lee Sin ever has been. Fiora. Fiora is consistently one of the highest win rate champions in the game. I, would, I actually would not be surprised if we saw adjustment to her based on that fact. Shen, Shen, Shen Fiora explicitly is one of the better necks in the game. Yeah, Fiora, Fiora is good with a lot of cards you want to be playing anyways. Thanks, Pontiff. I don't think I really want to swing this into here. I'm playing this next turn, so there could be merit just to getting this down as a blocker. They're an aggressive deck. Yeah, I probably should kill this. Killing this means they're not likely to get a trigger with their Sajani next turn, which is valuable to us. And yeah, thank you for the 25 months. Really appreciate that. Welcome back. Good morning. 
Good afternoon, whatever time of day it is. The days are all a blur. Uh, unhelpful Yoda, if you were picked as one of the winners of the Fire Drake giveaway, I passed your information along to my Riot contact and they'll get added to your account at some point soon. I don't know. I don't know when their exact timeline is on that. Croc, thanks for the follow. Good morning. I think I take this trade here. Just like that I think there's a Johnny Trigger this turn. Yeah, comparing Fiora to Infect's a good comparison coming from a magic background. I agree, agree with that one. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Into the forest. Uh, to be fair, Inya, we're a little bit higher than usual today, because a lot of the other big Rune Terror streamers took the morning off. I usually I usually average, like, for between, like, 350 and 500 people for Rune Terror segment, so it's great to see 800 people in here. I think I'm actually just going to salvage this turn. I want to save this for a turn where it's going to be a little bit of a bigger blowout. So this is going to put us to 18 cards. This will put us to 17 cards. So not quite ready to flush the toilet next turn even if I play this. So we'll wait. The point of go get it in this deck to be able to replay cards like Shipwreck Quarter and the card that, uh, what's it called? Shipwreck Quarter and the... Uh, the one we just obliterated multiple times to get their triggers. The Bower of Depths, yeah, that's the one. I mean, tossing two jettisons at this point is fine. Like, we're deep already. We're gonna get to flush the toilet bowl next turn. Probably be in a pretty good spot. We're at 15, and I've got two Spirit Refugees and a Concussive Bomb. This card's not as good in this matchup because the opponent has a lot of Frostbite effects, but... Copies of like Avalanche and Vile Feast keep Swarm Decks in check pretty reasonably. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with the assessments that people are saying in chat of what Fiora, what Fiora is doing in the format. It could have been right to play Nautilus first here, so I could play this on discount. But getting, getting this going ASAP is just super appealing. Yeah, that's true. Plaza, Plaza is kind of okay against uh, little thing decks now as well. Yeah, and I, I think classifying Endure as a Swarm deck is a bit is a bit offbeat, though. Like it, it has Swarm draws, but it's like top end is like fundamental. Like that's not its only game plan, right? Like that that archetype is uniquely uniquely good in other places because of because of how it's configured. Hey chat, is this Spirit's Refuge going to be good here? What do you think? Every time you beat a Captain Fair on an Angel gets its wings. Here, huh? 
We've got a why, we've got a hello, we've got a sweating, so we've got a dealer's choice on the emote. A no mercy would have been good for that last game. Zoe, the Zoe emote and the Kench emote fill the same slot. They're both, they're both a hello, how you doing? Yeah, hopefully my opponent can get a refund on their favorite after that last game. Definitely did not live up to his. I will end this idea. I think the best region you can pair with Deep Slash Nautilus. I think Shadow Isles is, is still easily the best. I think the the Shadow Isles, we played Shadow Isles Deep uh, a week or two ago, somewhat, somewhat recently. I like the build we played a lot. It was just like no BS, get deep as quickly as possible. I would like to block. Mint! Thanks for the follow. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you're at in the world. That was, that was, that was a joke, Lisky. Isn't salvage always a keep an opening hand? Not, not in an aggressive matchup like this. But not that good. In an, in an aggressive matchup like this, I'm going to stun this proactively, and then if they want to get an attack trigger in with this, they'll have to trade her with my 3-2. This is, this is a matchup where I just need to do my best to stay alive as long as possible. Uh, I'm not convinced they'll nerf Plaza. But if they do nerf Plaza, there's like a hundred different ways they can do it. So that worked out uh, pretty perfectly there for us. Zap's going to get to draw us another Jettison, and we're going to get to de get deep fairly quickly here. Got uh, Tasty Tree Poke next turn. This is a free attack here. Might as well take it. I'm 100% blocking Legion Grenadier next turn. I think Plaza's fine as is. In fact, I should make a I should make a command for Plaza. People are gonna keep asking about that. It's a good way to direct people to my Twitter too. You can't do this. You can't do this. So we're still a little ways off of deep. I think we start on box to puss, and then we'll play this this turn as well. I agree, I agree, Jay. Right? I think I think Plaza's fine. I think people underestimate. I think it's. I think I think Plaza's currently overrepresented based on the fact that it's new and shiny. And I think that we'll see that that change a little bit as the as the format matures more. I think it'll, I think it'll remain competitive, but I think it'll be a little bit less popular than it is right now. All right, so trying to dodge Noxian fervor here. Never, never not dead to fervor. I mean, to be fair, compared to Ember Cleave, Fervor's like really not a big deal. Yeah, I, I agree, Jakari. Lee, Lee Sin being. Lee Sin costing four mana was the low point of Rune Terra formats for me so far. Wait, 
Wait, I'm deep, right? I'm not deep. Awkward. We gotta do this. Too, too short of deep at the moment. Wait, they just ended the round? Seriously? Uh... Oh, they must have, they must have, uh, fervor here, huh? Into the forest. They must, they must have Noxian oh, fervor. I think I'm supposed to attack like this. Because if they, if they have fervor, I'm dead anyways, and they usually don't play other quick speed ways to pop this barrel. And if they don't have fervor, killing the barrel here is good. Uh, as a heads up, Enya, after you resub to the channel like you did today, you'll need to refresh to fix the ad thing. That's annoying. Yeah, and I just, I didn't, I didn't have a way to play around this regardless, so, just as it is. I am reborn of salt and pride. And there, there are no attacks last turn, I think made that pretty likely, so. I think I'm happy with the decisions I made that game, there's wasn't a whole lot we could do with the cards we had versus what they had going on. Yeah, yeah, their 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 first fervor getting to deny our life steal was huge. Like if we're if we're plus four there, that game's also not a big deal. Hey, Forsmith, I'm glad you enjoyed Santa stopping by. Anybody at home that missed Santa streaming last night, be sure to check out the highlight. Two fervors, one streamer, all dead. Bagrin, good afternoon. Welcome to Glandia. All right, endure. Box to push seems bad here. This could be good eventually. Buying us a turn from dying to endure is good. Of course, then they just kill us with atrocity. I keep these two. This controls the board a little bit early, and this helps us start getting deep. Imadasi, thanks for the follow. Good morning. Uh, Santa streamed for a little over two hours last night. Yeah, I think the Teemo Sedge deck is great. As a heads up too, if you're ever wondering like what my thoughts are on a deck, one, if a deck ends up on my highlights channel, that that almost assuredly means I liked it. And two, if you want a concise wrap up on one of the decks that I played, the last like two to three minutes of every video that I post, even those highlight videos, is wrap up thoughts on, on whatever archetype is being played there. Who's on top of the bounty board today? We we play enough things here on stream that like the Highlights channel gets to be like exclusively things that are good and sweet. We just drop box to push here. I think I'd rather treat this for Kalista than this. Is there any downside to playing Fae Folk before I attack? I don't think so. Hello. 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 Bring a fucking bell. Ooh, you wee scruff. A win streak. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Leeson as a design. I think his des his current design is pretty toxic, but he's also like not good enough to like be worth adjusting necessarily. So it's whatever. We, we shall their treasonous ass. Give me the stuff. Stuff may come. 
I mean, the important thing, I see people talking about the Republicans holding up the stimulus stuff and how they're lumping stimulus in with the rest of it. It's important to remember that the Republican Party stands to benefit from government not being functional. Their, their shtick on small government and the, and the government can't do anything right only works because they consistently make it so the government's not able to do anything. I think I, think I actually just use this go get it as like a, as like a toss six. This is going to come into play while we'll Toss 3 will like play the other one in Toss 3. For, any, for anybody that's new to the channel, by the way, it's a good conversation to have when we have a lot of new people in here. Um, I'm, I'm what you could describe as uh, aggressively progressive, and we occasionally talk about politics on stream. So if that's going to be a turnoff for you, it's probably worth changing the channel. Sunny and Miss Rave, thanks for the follows. Welcome to the channel. I mean, to be fair, since the elections has ended, um, the amount of times where it comes up organically is is fewer and far between, and I expected that to be the case. What's your opinion on pineapple pizza? I do, I do love, I do love me some pineapple on pizza. All right, so we're gonna get to get deep. Which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and play these jettisons now because otherwise I'm going to lose the mana. Altanis, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Unsubbing pineapple on pizza is a grave sin. Listen, I like a little sweet with my with my stuff. Oh, I should have attacked. This was a free two-pointer, right? All right, I get my free two-pointer in. God bless. There are people who like pineapple on their pizza, and there are those who are wrong. Big ups, big ups. Now, this is turn seven, which means my opponent could have a they who endure this turn, worth noting. Ooh, that's probably bigger than their endure. You can have level level Kalista, that sounds fine. Hey, Sunshine, thank you for the two entire years of support. Really appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. It is worth noting that if they wait to... Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, Blitterate! If they don't, if they don't drop Endure this turn, we're going to be in a pretty good spot. And even if they do drop it, we're not just dead, which is nice. So we've got two treasures and 14 cards here. Okay, sweet. So they're not, they're not playing Endure this turn because they don't have seven mana anymore. Are we just smashing in here? I feel like I'm just waiting, huh? I don't feel like there's a good reason to attack in. i pass. Really giving them extra dice triggers is worthwhile. Maybe it's worth it to attack with the with the Nautilus. What am I waiting for? Uh, I guess I guess that's true. Mina's gonna send it back to their hand next turn. Yeah, okay, you're right. One, one thing that's a little concerning is we're going to get to a point where my opponent can my opponent can both uh, atrocity and they who endure in the same turn. 
Yeah, second, second not to answer an atrocity would be nice. Hitting, hitting a treasure could be good too. I don't know. That attack, that attack could be wrong. It might be right to wait till we have a better answer rolled up. Kaziel, thanks for the follow. And kick it. Might not have wings, but they'll fly. <laughs> That's such a good line. Naughty! Naughty, naughty! Do, 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 Keen Rick! Thanks for the follow. Good afternoon. We got two treasures in uh, in twelve cards here as well. The games where unspeakable horror does this are so silly. Like, like their two mana piece of removal drew them a dragon, which drew them this. All right, flush the toilet. Thanks, Gary. One more treasure monster. Yes, nailed it. Oh, and it drew us a treasure trove. Yay, treasure. This part is so sad compared to pack your bags. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> we are in G an extra riptide. That's so good. Hi, friends! Impossible! Impossible! You name it, I'll nick it. I'll take him dead or near enough. Dead or near enough. Give him the clap, chat! Listen, the barrier's gotta be swole to fit Nautilus inside of it, chat. This is an on-flavor barrier. You think just any barrier can hold Nautilus? Come on, now. Drag them down. Drag them down. Good. We going wide, barrier included. Yeah, exactly, see? It's on, it's on flavor. Edit, Edit Reese, thanks for the follow. Good afternoon. Yeah, Spirit, Spirit Refuge has been like genuinely good so far. We barely had lethal, just, just squeaked it out. Skin of our teeth. I 
keep the rest of these? Like this is this is technically a toss card because it always gets uh it always gets what's it called for us, Jettison? Stuff maker. Stuff maker. I would also like the record to reflect that last game we used Go Get It to toss six with Dredge Dredgers and it was excellent. Quite, quite good. I think I'm happy to gain three here. Just keep my life total up. How does that work out? It means when I decide to do variety stuff, J Ram, I'm gonna do Final Fantasy until we finish it. And then after we finish Oh, I forgot to attack. And then after we finish Final Fantasy, we'll go we'll do Witcher, Witcher through the end. But I've been I've been doing like 20 15 to 20 hours of variety stuff. It's probably gonna be closer to 10 moving forward. So the games will get completed a little bit slower. But the Rune Terra stuff is doing well in terms of your metrics, so I want to lean into that some more. Here we go. Support the content that's performing better for me. So I want to wait to jettison here, because we actually haven't we actually haven't tossed the third jettison yet. So I want to play this to draw it before we do it. Which which you're playing through Witcher 3 right now. We're about 30 hours in. We're getting ready to go get a uh, Siri from the aisle. We just finished rounding up, uh, rounding up companions. And again, like these are burst speed, so like I'm not in any rush to play these out right away. Uh, deal. Yeah, yeah, we're about halfway through. I plan to, I plan to play the, the two, the two uh, expansions as well, the two DLCs. Hecarim's gonna hit us for like a truck here. Really, really need to hit our. So I think with only eighteen cards left in my deck. I want to play the Jettisons this turn, also about mana efficiency, because, like, I'm technically fitting my deck down to the Nautiluses, which are cards I'd like to draw. Yeah, I'm pretty good at staying focused in open-world single-player games, so... Uh, 8, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18. Alright, I need to play a blocker. Because I wasn't, because I wasn't dead. Oh, we are dead, aren't we? Did I miscount? I miscounted. Oh! Oh, I, I miscounted Bark Beast getting 2-2 is what I messed up there. Got it. Yeah. I miscounted. I miscounted Bark Beast. Yeah, I should have. I was counting Bark Beast as a three, but with the effect rolls, it's definitely a five. Yeah, I should have. No, I count. I counted the shark. That's why I played a blocker that turn because we. I didn't think we were dead then. I forgot. I forgot to. Yeah, I should. I should have been playing blockers out. I wasn't counting the Bark Beast as a five. If the Bark If the Bark Beast was a three, we weren't dead there. So I was. I was counting correctly for what I was counting. I just forgot that the effect rolls were gonna pop and make it bigger. Entreat Fiora. Been a hot second. This one's mostly been usurped by the uh, the new Targon hotness. Mulligan looking for stuff that can help us toss. Yep. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, the fact that it was a 3-3 already on board from the, uh, the other cards threw me off a little bit. It happens. Derek, thanks for the follow. Good afternoon. Would love to trade here. Yeah, that was an instance where the eye, the eye was not helpful, unfortunately. Try and get deep quickly so Devourer can hopefully obliterate through Fiora. This is again guaranteed to get a Jettison currently. Salvage, sweet. We could be could be set up to be deep as early as six here. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to salvage for the soft pass there. They could they could burn our mana. These old eyes still see far. I'm gonna salvage for the soft pass. Do I maybe I, maybe I do this actually? It lets them kill the bigger thing with Fiora, but Fiora's gonna get to kill it eventually anyways. And then getting her getting two less toughness is good for us down the line with the Devourer. So we're gonna go down to 21 cards next turn with this plus a draw. This puts us to uh, 17. So if we do this, we'll flush the toilet on their turn, which sounds good. This would be a good easy, easy block here. Getting this extra thing out of the way that Fiora can't kill later is great. I mean, turbo is a is a loosely defined term. This is a deep deck, yes. Gonna jettison now as well because I want to be deep when this tosses. So that way we can flush. One of the more mediocre hits, still fine. Your move. Oh, an auspicious oh, <laughs> Two down. They have a single combat. They can single combat here. Ah, uh, friendo. This would be a good winter. Uh oh, sure. This would be quick. Blessed by snow and stars. Guess we just keep playing big idiots, huh? Our best draws at this point are Concussive Palms and Barriers. Okay, so they have a Repost in hand. No real reason to attack in here. And I have, I have a couple of shots at drawing our good cards here. So we have we have a draw step next turn plus a salvage to find two more. And if we can if we can survive survive a turn or two here, our deck is so thin that not only do we have a bunch of treasures to draw to, but we also have um, uh, what's the word I'm searching for? We also have a lot of Nautiluses left, so we can get like Nautilus plus Riptide set up. That could be very good. Could be the key to uh, taking this Fiora out of play.
your move. Blessed by the snow and stars. Dead to bury or single combat. Oh, I'm dumb. I don't have enough. I don't have enough room in my hand for this. It doesn't matter. They just have all the things. Got it. Never, never not two single combats. <laughs> oh no! I mean, all your fewer opponents always have it all. That's just that's just how it works. All right, burn matchup. Gonna mulligan for a bottom end here. We're attacking on evens, which is not great for us. Oh, this this opener is stellar. Just like ide our ideal one, two, three. Maybe box to post is slightly better than this, but it's close. John, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Timo. Then he may be playing Lulu. No, Lulu is one of the less competitive champions in the game, unfortunately. Um, she's a very, very narrow card in that she's only really good at attacking. The Fiora decks are very good, Weiss decks. I think the Fiora decks are some of the best in the game. I don't think I don't think every Fiora deck falls under best in the game, but like Shen Fiora, for example, is consistently, consistently very high win rate. Satellus and M Man. Thanks for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Is it crazy to wait on this until I can, like, go get it to swap it out? I kind of feel like that. That's sweet. If I just, like, salvage this turn, I'm going to jet jettison and bank spell mana. Hmm. I am some salvage. Let's see what they do. I'm going to salvage pass. Why Iona instead of SI? Because the person that paid me money to play this deck paid me money to play it with Iona cards. For folks that are new to the channel, this isn't a uh, spike slash best deck style channel. A lot of what we play here, we're playing for fun. Well, most of the decks that we play here are viewer, viewer submissions. So if you're looking for a top of the ladder type stream, this is definitely not a good channel for you. If you're looking for sweet decks, and some of which end up being competitive, this is a great channel for you. I think, I think I'm gaining one with this at this point. I think that's I think that's in the realm of realm of things I'm willing to do. Buddy and Maxim, M Man, welcome to the channel. So. Do I want to tasty faith folk here? I feel like I want to wait till I can go get it. I guess if they point more damage at this, I'm also pretty okay with that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tasty here because I would like to devour our next turn and get rid of get rid of this one. Oh, folks! Thanks for the follow. Remember the objective. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of alt win con cards in Runeterra. It's not just Fiora.
This is a little ambitious and perhaps wrong. The tempo we lose here is pretty big, but I feel like we're far enough behind at this point that I, like, need that to happen. And we're, then we're gonna be dead, right? Spring. <laughs> Is that played? Well, you tried. You tried, MTG bot. So, Spider Burn with Darius at the top end. Concussive Palm is probably good here. These other two cheap cards to start seem fine. The Lulu decks that were good when Warchefs got nerfed ended up turning into Shen Fiora. It's basically, Lulu Lulu was outclassed by the more interactive combo finish card in Fiora. Yeah, the builds, the builds waterboard music is best here for sure. Dredgers here. And then next turn we'll get to Hired Gun kill this. And then maybe these Concussive Palms can stall us into the late game when we get some of our monsters going here. Who's on top of the bounty board today? KO, Philodin, Campino, Elks. Seems like, seems like today was a good day to stream. Welcome, folks. I think, I honestly think that the Warchef Sturf might actually be an instance where um, Warchefs actually wasn't super optimal in a lot of the decks that were playing it. <laughs> That's, yeah. That is... It is Laysad. I almost, I almost, I almost feel bad. <laughs> Hotty Cag, welcome to the live one. For folks that are new to the channel, if you enjoy the feel and vibe of the channel here. I have a ton of Runeterra content up on various YouTube channels. One post one daily deck highlight video. I play a ton of different decks, so the best of the best get a highlight every single day. And then I also have a second channel, youtube.com forward slash Jeff Hoagland, where absolutely everything I stream gets posted. So that channel's very busy. It gets like four or five, even six videos per day sometimes. Real, no real reason to play this out yet, huh? How viable would a Starlet Seer Zoe be? I think Starlet Seer Zoe is fantastic. And if you want my preferred Starlet Seer Zoe build, it was one of one of my highlights quite recently. I think that that variation is super reasonable. Turgen, Turgen's peak aside, pretty much all the decks in the highlights channel are competitive. Okay, so we're gonna have seven mana next turn. We're gonna get to drop Nautilus down. Um, honestly, we play the hired gun here, right? So Nautilus can eat Darius. Excuse me? The dragon lives. Oh. I have my orders. The people are my strength. Yeah, 
I played pretty much every champion in Rune Terror at this point. My YouTube channel is a giant, giant wealth of things at this point. Are we dead? I think we've died, chat. I think we just played Nautilus and died to an apprehend. Got some fighting ya. Not my first gun fight. <laughs> we've been we've been bamboozled. <laughs> Yikes. Son of a Yeah, that was rough. From the from the sad crowd favorite to the, the apprehend slaughter, huh? Poor Nautilus. He thought he was large and in charge. Little did he know he was going to have a stunning turn. Who called this game for our opponent? You caused this. <laughs> big, big mood. Can I just play this out as a cheap blocker, keep my life total high? channel. Good afternoon. Salvage is a decent pickup. Just looking for a little bit of gas in the mid game here so we can survive to get to Nautilus. We've got what? Toss 12 here basically. Weird. Who says I don't see? We're take, gonna take a big hit here. Even if I double jettison, I still don't get to flush the toilet next turn, so I think we just toss. We're taking a hit for 7 here, down to 11. Tasty Fay folks, a great pickup. It'll give us something to stabilize our life total back up here in the mid game a little bit, which is exactly what we're looking to do. So, with this draw, I think we do this, and then we get to double flush next turn. A game. Go on, then. Watch the ball, folks. We're going to take a bit of a hit here. If they, like, play another two-power idiot out, we're taking six down to five. And then hoping Tasty Fate Boat can help us stabilize a little bit. Okay. I mean them taking taking power off their board is a good for us. I feel like I feel like if we lose this game it involves getting punked out. Getting getting burned out basically. I know what lurks. At least a lot of power. If they don't open attacks and we get to drop this before they swing, we'll be in a really good spot. Feel like this is an open attacks to put me to five. Them not attacking with Twisted Feet is really good for us. Going going to 7 versus 5 is a big difference here. And 
then Nautilus being fearsome next turn is pretty reasonable. You know, honestly, maybe it's right to Tasty Fae Folk and buff our Life Total back up next turn. Because again, like, focusing on, we probably only lose if we get, like, punked out. Savior, good afternoon. Welcome to the channel. That's their, their first of those. Their second of those, and we're down to five now. They burned a vengeance. That bodes well for us. Means we're more likely to get into connection with this. The best draw on our deck there would have been the lifesteal barrier for sure. That card's been quite good as we've played today. Can I just do this? I want to keep their board in check here. I want to try and find plate work. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about. I didn't think about the fact that I had a treasure. That's a good. That's a good thought. Press a pick. You are. You are correct. I agree. I agree with your take that I should have done this to try and find uh, a way to kill him. Hopefully, going to nine means we're going to be okay here. Aquatic, thanks for the follow. We're unfortunately one mana short. We're one mana short of being able to this plus Riptide. Yeah, it's a second Twisted Fate, and I want to play out Nautilus here, so that way, if he gold cards... Oh, they have red card. Oh, we're actually, we're actually dead to pack your bags now, right? That's how this game works. Crazy to keel breaker. I feel like it's not. Man, it's like comical how much worse that card is than pack your bags. Like, it hits my board, it doesn't hit their face, like... It's kind, it's kind of an unreal difference. Looks like I'm ready. Bye-bye. There's plenty of kin in there. Say your farewell. Great, well, we're not dead to a deal, Five. That's all we could really ask for. Yeah, pack, pack being symmetrical. Yeah, yeah, Diana Zoe, Stigzy.
Yeah, I could I could give you about a hundred different changes they can make to pack your bags. That's why that's why when people ask me about like like what would you do, it's like, well, like there's like this is what I would do, but like I also think there's like a ton of like valid, reasonable things that like, okay, these are also okay changes. Catch up. And this last card is their third Doom Beast, then, right? That's how this worked. They drew the pack the bag, so the last card's the third Doom Beast. We did it! Nailed it. Yeah, honestly, someone talking about not having a lot of healing in here. I'll play like one or two more with this before we go on to the next deck. I, I kind of want another Spirit's Refuge. Like, this has been the card I've been hoping to draw in like a lot of situations. It's definitely, it's definitely been the card that's overperformed the most so far. The original submission had one and I increased it to two, but I, I kind of want, I kind of want a third. Boxtopus has been kind of whatever. And yeah, we're still over 800 people in here, which is awesome. Thanks everybody for dropping in today. So I think... I think I'm going to uh, do a third rune tier or fourth rune tier deck today, as opposed to Final Fantasy. Yeah, these sound great. So this is a go big deck. So I basically just want to get deep as quickly as possible here. So keeping our our things to the toss. Mister Fuzzy Wuzzy, good afternoon. Opponent. This, this in for a game three here. The extra one point of damage on this leader doesn't really matter. I'd rather save the extra point of life, I think. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Perfect. And like this gets to eat this, and then it can trade into like a 3 2 later. Which is nice. They have plaza on three here. Alright, no plaza, just a priestess. We're not losing any mana this turn, so I think we just take the pass. Again, with jettisons, there's no real incentive to use them sooner than you need to if you're not losing mana. Are you joining the Discord server? Directions for the Discord server can be found on my website here. The most, the most notable thing about joining the Discord server is you'll need to be on a desktop computer to use Discord's account connection features. I think people miss the most. And now here, I'll jettison, and then we'll zap. And the reason why we're sequencing this way whoop, is because we don't want to lose the attune from zap. Julie, thanks for the follow. Enjoy. J-U-Y. You're still here in 10 minutes. Tell me how to pronounce that. So 23 cards, so 8 off of the deep. 
four off of the deep. Honestly, I might just concussive palm here for the sake of resource efficiency. It technically lets us get a little aggressive here too. Once we get to the later turns, our mana will pretty much be spoken for, so maybe just do this and then attack next turn. A couple of chip shots in to start. Yes, of course, yeah. Gifted, gifted sub, prime sub, tier one sub, they're all the all the same on the back end. Back heretic. Believe or burn. Sweet. We need to play this and it flushes right away next turn. They could have divergent paths, I suppose. Well, if they had divergent paths, they probably would have used it to fish up Plaza by right now. Ooh, that's a great one to roll. Hey, thanks for being here, Pedro. It's almost almost a new year. Hopefully, hopefully 2021 is gonna be gonna be a good good for everyone. I don't know how to pronounce my name, so Jeff's guess is as good as mine. God bless. The water rises. You've got to rise up. Gotta get that water to rise up, champ. Opponent's deck uh, could theoretically have the skies descend in it, I suppose. Sometimes they play Judgment, although this is very good against Judgment. This is fine against the Skies Descent, too, honestly. We could go Porter into Salvage, try and hit a Treasure next turn. Next turn, we're going to have 8 plus 2 is 10 mana. Treasures cost 5, so I can't quite play them out as well. Huh. If I do this, I can double Spirit's Refuge. There's also appeal in starting on Devourer because if they have... No, I guess if they have the Skies Descend, they're going to have it regardless here, even if I kill something. I kill their Life Steal thing. We'll try and kill them this turn. If they if they disguise the Skies Descend me here, I get to, I get to double Spirit Refuge and then crack in. Could have a single combat they're debating here. They could technically make this one trade here. They could like single, and then this no longer has enough to kill this. Barrier comes in handy in response to single combat. Concerted Strike notably still beats us, though. Concerted Strike hits twice, so it beats through the barrier. Okay, what you got? The old cosmic lizard. A dragon, madam. <laughs> How have I not heard that voice line before? The old cosmic lizard. Alright, so with this play, how do we feel about stun this attack? I guess I could play this first. The downside to playing both of these is I then can't hold up Spirit's Refuge to beat a um, Concerted Strike or uh, beat a single combat. I think I, I want to try and beat single combat here. So I'm going to go ahead and Concussive Palm here. Then we'll probably attack. I guess this has Fearsome too from this. It's 
Do these decks usually play single combat still? I feel like they do. They could also just be mono target splashing Leona though. Uh, mono target splashing Plaza. Sorry. I think the Leona build usually means they're mostly target on a splash. Obviously, there's a lot of variation, though, still, so that could be wrong, but I believe, believe that is usually the case. We could also see Hush happen here. Hush is a card that's in the range that they could have that could wipe Fearsome off of this. Wipe the Fearsome sharing off of this. So, if they block this here or here, and then block this here, they die. They could have another single combat. Failure. They block this here, and then they go to four, and Nautilus survives. If they have another single combat, they could eat this here and then trade with Nautilus. We're still in an okay spot if that happens because the salvage is going to get to draw two. Obviously less good if we lose him, but not just dead by any means. Hey, Merry Christmas, uh, Limby. That's quite enough. That's, I think this works out pretty okay for us. Something's wrong. Howdy Wop Wops. If it's been a little while since you've tried Runeterra, I definitely recommend giving it a poke again. The last couple of expansions, the last expansion especially, really uh, increased the variety of play patterns that are competitive. They did a really good job with the set release. I think it's easily their best so far. Who's our second champion? We don't have one. Just on, just on the old, the old Nautilus. The other, the other list of Deep and... Uh, Deep and not champion, or Bilgewater, and Iona Champions didn't really seem to fit. Maybe we could justify playing Twisted Fate as just a good card, but I don't really have a have a room for it. I think, I think this is better, fishing up Jettisons, than Twisted Fate is. This card, this card helping us get deep has been good. This deck is the naughty list. Yep. Her light is our sword, her walk, our armor. Um, nom 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 nom. Gobble gobble. I mean, play. A lot of games come down to playstyle preferences. Things tend to be very subjective. There's plenty, plenty of people that like Rune Terra. So, thoughts on this. Um, overall, like, the thing that this deck was trying to do with Go Get It, it, it genuinely didn't seem very good. It, if anything, the kind of standout Iona card in this deck to me was Spirit's Refuge. This card was very, very good throughout the course of that set, allowing us to gain lots of life back in a lot of different situations. Um, it's also very good against like random random combat style effects too. Um, overall, I think if you're looking to build a deep deck that's as competitive as possible, I think the the classic Shadow Isles variation is very good. This this built this deck gets deep quickly and explicitly not being able to play Maokai because he's a Shadow Isles champion removes that kind of alt wincon axis from your deck, and I think that that's a pretty pretty big drawback. Um, 
the rest of the core seems fine. I think a lot of, I think the get deep quickly and having these monsters at your top end is still a very reasonable competitive thing to be doing in the format, even if this IOTA package wasn't nearly as competitive as, um, nearly as good as the, uh, the SI supporting cards are with, with Maokai being an alt-wing con for you. So, right. 